In the last video, we were able to start designing the top toolbar and the bottom toolbar. We can see that they're colored in white and they have these kind of gray borders. Now I'm going to actually create the menu for the bottom toolbar. So let's go into um, res and create a new folder, so a new directory. I'm just going to call it menu. And inside menu, I'm going to create a new menu resource file. I'm going to call it bottom navigation menu. Okay. So now we need to create a bunch of items. So I'll create an item and then go whoops, back up in here. And we'll do, uh, we need to give it an ID. And I already know what icons I'm gonna use, so I already know what the names are gonna be. But um, if you were doing this from scratch, you obviously probably wouldn't know what the ID was until you picked out an icon, but I already have icons picked out. So I know what the IDs uh, are going to be. And I would suggest using the exact same names as me, just so we don't get mixed up in the future. And this one's going to be drawable underscore I see house. And I don't have that imported yet, so obviously it's giving me an error. And then it's going to set the title to blank. So that's what the first icon is going to be. Let's actually um, let's actually import the icon. So we'll go to drawables folder, go to new image asset, and go to action bar and tab icons. And this one's going to be I see house and clip art, and then click here. And I can't remember where it is, so it might take me a second to find it. All right, this isn't the one I actually used in the demo, but I'm tired of looking. So uh, that's fine. Now let's go down to here, go to custom, and or actually, what in Instagram are they? Are they gray or are they black? I just want to make sure the color. I think they're. I think yeah, they're gray. So I'll leave it as gray then. So we'll go back to hollow dark. No, hollow light. Yeah, hollow light. And there we go. Hit finish. So now we have our IC house, and I'm just gonna do them all right now. So open up drawables, go to new, image asset, and action bar tab icons. This one's gonna be called Android, and uh, everything else is the same. I'm actually just gonna use this Android guy. So there we go. And next one. And this one, uh, what do we need to do? We need to need search. So we'll do that, and I can't remember where this one is either. Uh, search, there we go. So we'll call it IC search, same thing, leave it gray, cool. So we'll go to new one, action bar and tab icons. This one is going to be called, uh, let's see, circle. And hopefully it's called something similar to a circle. I think it was that one. That was the one, yeah. So that's fine. Go next and finish. And of course you can use whatever icons you want. These are just ones that are kind of similar to what Instagram actually has. They're not the exact ones, but they're just sort of similar. Uh, this one I'm gonna call alert. I think this one's like a, a bell or something. Uh, might be that, sure. Next and finish. And image asset, this is the last one. This one's going to be, or is that it? We have alert, yeah, we have five, we're good. Okay, so now let's go back into our menu and I'm gonna copy the item. Uh, copy it like that, and I create another one. Well, I gotta create five, so there's our five. Second one is gonna be IC search, and of course, this will be IC search. This one will be IC circle. And of course, I see circle, I see alert, I see alert, I see, I see Android, and I see Android. Okay, so there we have our menu. Now we'll go to the bottom navigation and we'll set the menu here. So you have to go app menu. There we go. So now we have our menu. So this isn't going to be what we want, and I'm gonna run the app and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you why. We're actually gonna end up using <clears throat> using an external library to help us with the bottom navigation view, but I just wanna show you why we're gonna do that before I just do it. Okay, so you can see down here that the bottom navigation view is working, like when I click on it it highlights the icon and it moves to it, but 
What I don't like is this this weird animation sliding thing. I hate that. And um, so I, I want to get rid of that. And if you have watched my advanced tutorials, I can pull it up on my YouTube. If you go to my channel and go to the advanced tutorials, I actually do that here with this top navigation custom toolbar. I think this is the one. And um, I, I what I do is I create a, uh, a helper class to I create a helper class to override that motion. But um, there's actually a much easier way to do that. We can there's an external library that we can use. So if we go to Google and just start typing bottom navigation uh, view ex, you can see this is the library right here. Click on it and it takes you to this GitHub page. We can scroll down and it enables a ton of customizability for bottom navigation views. I would here's all the demos of all the different stuff you can do. So the one that we want is um, uh, uh, no, not there. So I actually don't want words either. This one right here, I want no words and I don't want it to shift. I just want it to highlight. So you can see that um, in using some combination of these options, we'll definitely be able to achieve what we want to do. So we can just scroll down and we're going to have to grab this Maven. So we'll go to Instagram clone and go to our project Gradle file, this one right here. And underneath J Center, we can just type in the Maven. And I'm not going to sync yet. I'm going to go to the Gradle app folder and we're going to grab this dependency also. So just go into here. And so bottom navigation view EX library. And paste that in there. Now, now we can sync it. And we can close both the Gradle files. Now that's done. And what we'll do is we'll change this to be the bottom navigation view. Whoops, not that one. Bottom navigation view EX, which is this one right here. So we just click on there. And then make sure to change the closing tag at the bottom to be the same. So there we go. Now we have that. And now we can go into home activity and we can actually customize the bar. So I'm going to create a method here. So private void setup bottom navigation view. And the reason I'm making this method is so that we can reuse it in all of our activities. So I'll just write some comments up here. Um, bottom nav oops. navigation view setup. And we'll go, oh, I need to create my tag. So let's go up here first, do log T. And you can see the tag highlights there. If you're new to Android, this is just for organizing your logs. So for example, I could go here and type log D, which would be written to the Android log whenever you run the app. And I can just go starting. <coughs> and what the tag does is it just, it, it tags it, right? Like it, it lets the person know, the developer know what activity you're in. So in the log, it'll say, okay, it's gonna reference the tag and on create started. So it's just, it's just for kind of organizing things. So same thing here, I can do um, like setting up bottom navigation, did I spell that right? Yeah, navigation view. Just so in the log, I know that my code is made it that far and it hasn't crashed or anything. And now we create our bottom navigation view EX object. So bottom navigation view EX equals, and now we uh, find our widget. So bottom navigation view EX, find view by ID, r dot ID dot, uh, whatever we call it, bottom nav view bar. So if we go in here, we can see that the ID is bottom, no, where is it? Bottom nav view bar. And the widget type is bottom navigation view EX. That's why uh, too many windows open. That's why I uh, declared the widget right here as a bottom navigation view EX. And because in all of our activities, like um, in the app, these, these buttons down here are all gonna be different activities and they're all gonna use the same navigation view. So I could write it in every single activity over and over again, or I can create another object class to help me keep things organized a little better. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to create a new, I'm gonna call it a new package and I'll call it utils. I guess utils, plural. And then inside of utils, I'm gonna create a new class. I'm gonna call it bottom navigation view helper. So just like my uh, advanced tutorials, I'm still gonna create a bottom navigation view helper, but I'm gonna use it a little differently. Let's throw a log in here because we're gonna eventually need that. Um, but for now, basically, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna create a method for setting up the bottom navigation view EX. 
So public static void set up, oops, bottom navigation view, and then it's gonna take bottom navigation view widget, or uh, object, sorry. And now in here is where I'm gonna set all the settings. So I could have I could have done that in main activity right here, but because I'm gonna use it over and over again, I might as well just do it right here since it's all gonna be the same. So bottom navigation view ex dot enable animation. I'm gonna set that to false. Bottom navigation view ex enable item shift mode. That will also be false. And um, I'm just getting all of these from the GitHub page here. These settings right here. So if you want to kind of experiment with that, just check out all of these options right here and uh, you can customize it however you like. So um, enable animation, I already did that. Uh, what is it? I need enable shifting, item shifting what I did, enable shifting mode. Basically I'm just looking to turn everything off here. Only need those three, but I need to set the text visibility to false also. All right, so that should be it. I can stick a little log in here saying uh, setting up. view, bottom navigation view, and that should be good. So now I can go into home activity and I can just do um, bottom navigate navigation view helper dot setup navigation view and then I just pass my uh, widget into here. So now I like I, like I just want to make sure that I'm clear about what I mean. What I could have done is not had this here not made them helper class and I could have just put this here. But since I'm gonna be using it over and over and over again, and also I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using this for something else later for actually executing the navigation, um, it's just gonna be much cleaner to get rid of this code and uh, do it like this. Because less code is always better. So now let's run it and let's take a look at our bottom navigation view. I forgot to actually call the method in main activity, so set up bottom, bottom navigation view. There we go. Now let's run it. All right, so now if we take a look at our bottom navigation view, we can see we click on these and they highlight the correct one and there's no animation. This is pretty much exactly how we want it. So that looks good. It's not actually changing out any activities or anything yet, but at least when we click on it, it's, it's doing what it's supposed to. So I'm gonna stop the video here and in the next one, we will um, probably add activities to each one of these. So when we click on them, it will actually navigate to a different activity. And I will see you in that next video.